Greetings, ladies, gentlemen, and non-binaries, and welcome to my Villain OC Challenge. Now, I think I'm original in this idea, but probably not because it's the internet, but hey, what you gonna do? Let's start off with your villain species, which is going to be based on your zodiac. Ares is human, Tauros is zombie, Gemini is robot, Cancer is werebeast, Leo is vampire, Virgo is ghost, Libra is demon, um, Scorpio is alien, Sagittarius is merfolk, Capricorn is a dragon, Aquarius is a witch, and Pisces is a fairy. Then close your eyes and blindly choose the skin color because I've said it before and I will say it again, we don't discriminate in this household. If you're a girl, you're going to make a boy. If you're a boy, you're going to make a girl. If you're a demi girl, you're going to make a demi boy. If you're a demi boy, you're going to make a demi girl. If you're non-binary, you're going to make them gender fluid. If you're gender fluid, you're going to make them non-binary. If you're agender, make them intersex. And if you're intersex, make them agender. And if you identify as anything else, then you may choose the gender as you please. The eye color is going to be the complementary color of your favorite color. And if you don't know what that means, then Google it. Their hairstyle will be based on your favorite activity. So if you enjoy sports, they will have long hair. If you enjoy dancing, they will have medium hair. If you enjoy playing an instrument, they will have short hair. If you enjoy fishing, their hair will be shaven. If you enjoy drawing, their hair will be half up, half down. If you enjoy swimming, it will be a ponytail. If you enjoy singing, it will be pigtails. And if you enjoy doing anything else, then it will be a bun. And if you like doing multiple of these activities, then you can do a combination, as I'm doing here. Their hair color will be the hair color of your favorite villain from a show. It can be like a TV show or a YouTube series, whatever. Just something you'd sit back and watch, you know? Their outfit is going to be based on your pet. If you have a dog or multiple dogs, you're going to put them in a suit. If you have a cat, you're going to dress them like a jester. If you have a rodent, you're going to put them in a dress. If you have an amphibian, you're going to dress them like a biker. If you have a bird, you're going to put them in a robe. If you have a bug, you're going to put them in summer wear. If you have a reptile, you're going to put them in a long coat. And if you have a fish, you're going to put them in armor. Now, if you have multiple different kinds of pets, or you don't have a pet, or if you have anything else, you may dress them however you like. The main color of their outfit is going to be based on your favorite breakfast food. If it's croissants, then it's red. If it's bagels, then it's orange. If it's toast, then it's yellow. If it's eggs, it's green. If it's pancakes, it's blue. If it's waffles, it's purple. If it's bacon, it's black. If it's any kind of fruit, it's white. If it's donuts, it's brown. And if you somehow manage to convince yourself that coffee counts as breakfast, A, no it doesn't, get some actual food in your body, and B, it's going to be pink. And if your favorite breakfast food is anything else, or you don't really eat breakfast, which I would hope not, you should eat some food, it's going to be gray. The secondary color of their outfit is going to be the eye color of your favorite video game villain. The third color is based on your favorite subject in school. ELA is red, as it should be. History is orange. Foreign language is yellow. Math is green. Chemistry is blue. Art is purple. Music is black. Biology is white. Physics is brown. And anything else is pink. Your favorite flower will determine their motive, their reason for doing any horrible things that they might do. If it's daisies, then it's because of the death of a loved one. Hibiscus, it's for money. Dandelions, it's for love. Sunflower, it's for beauty. Water lily, it's because they were hurt in the past. Tulip, it's for religious reasons one way or another. Roses, it's for power. And if it's anything else or you don't have a favorite flower, then all their horrible acts came out of sheer, absolute boredom. Of course, no good villain would be caught dead without a weapon, which will be determined by your favorite dessert. Fortune cookies a syringe, ice cream's a gun, cake is scissors, flan is a bomb, 
Candy is an umbrella. Chocolate is a hammer. Donuts is a sword. Chocolate chip cookies or any kind of cookies is an axe. And anything else is a knife. And you are to make the weapon your favorite color. And with that, you, my friend, are done. Enjoy your new villain. Use them as you please or don't use them. I don't care. I can't make you do anything. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'd appreciate if you go watch my other content, because, you know, I make other content. You know, I make some sillies. <laughs> um, um, feel free to like and sub if you want to, you know, helps the channel, makes me feel loved. Um, anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Toodles!